Hello, everybody, and welcome to Throwbacks with the Technodrome, a show where three 80s babies, 90s kids take a trip down memory lane to revisit the pieces of pop culture that formed us and deformed us. I'm Cast. I'm Scales. And I'm Duff. And we are the Technodrome. Welcome back to Throwbacks with the Technodrome. We've made it, boys. Episode number four. It's our first episode of the new year. So I wanted to start this off by asking both of you guys, how was your Christmas? Did Santa treat you well, Duffy? Uh, Santa gave me COVID. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's a, that's yes. a horrible gift. <laughs> I know. I must. It's, I guess it's kind of like his version of a lump of coal. I thought I was a good boy this year, but I guess I wasn't. Um, so a lot of isolation, but, uh, I've been kind of just kicking back and relaxing and, um, you know, just, uh, getting some valuable TV time in. Were you also chilling out maxing as well? Oh, cool. Uh, I was re I was relaxing all cool, chilling, but not really playing some b-ball because, uh, you know, the lungs. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Wouldn't have been a good idea. There you go. Yes. How about you, uh, Mr. Castania? Did Santa bring you anything nice? Uh, you know, they brought me brought me to this year. That's that's what we're looking for. You know, the Aww. the world became a very crazy place over the past few weeks of uh, 2021. So uh, yeah, I mean, got to have small celebration, which is nice, smaller than uh, expected, but more than we were able to last year. So good. That's all we can that's ask. It's a good for. thing. It's mm -hmm. a good thing, and I apologize. To our fans out there, um, we had a Christmas episode planned, but some uh, some issues came up, and you know we, we couldn't bring that to you. But we have a Christmas in July episode planned for this coming summer, so we'll bring you some Christmas goodness in a full length episode uh, in about mark your calendar. So, yeah, get ready. Seven months away. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Definitely um, something to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, Christmas in July. Um, I know that. I saw Mr. Duffy uh, about a couple weeks ago when I was up in Connecticut and I had uh, gifted him something. And also I had uh, gifted something over to Cast. And um, Cast, if you want to unwrap that gift and we could show the fans what we've got. Let's, here. Uh, let's see, how, how do you unwrap your gifts here? Are you like a messy one or do you try to save the paper afterwards like i don't like those i'm a i'm a very messy person not because i like to be just because i am but with the uh, <laughs> gifts i don't like to completely destroy the wrapping if possible um, his camera is making him go invisible it's like he doesn't exist <laughs> so, much, so much pressure to react here mr scales i don't feel so good <laughs> yeah Aww. exactly <laughs> so scales i'm turning inside out <laughs> Yes, we have a personalized, would you call this a tumbler? Would you call it a- Sure, yeah, 20 ounce tumbler. Uh, yeah, bring it up a little closer to the camera for us. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna yeah. work. Let's see if I move no. the mic out of the way. You'll disappear. There we oh, go. there we go. Yep. There you go. So we each have some swag. Would it. you Would you look at that? Love it. And, and don't think that it went unnoticed, the color of each yes. of our favorite Ninja Turtles. There you go. Nutella. Glad you noticed it. I wonder oh, if our yeah. fans caught that before you did. But there you go. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Thank you very much. I you know what? It. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. Cheers to 2022. Well, if I had opened this before, I would have washed it out and filled it up with water. But I'm still going with uh, Old Black here for the rest of the <laughs> Jesus. That thing is a weapon. Yeah, what is that thing over there? It My is. Goodness. It's, uh, 
You have hot soup in there? <laughs> um, it was hot. But, uh, it's, it's, it's well now it's cold soup. It. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 spit warm. Soup? it kept it warm for a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even want to drink that water now. <laughs> Thank you All very right, much. So this is awesome. Glad you guys like those. Um, yes, I have a much appreciated. I have one question. Is this hot and cold or is it just cold? Uh, it should be both. Yeah. Yeah. You can use it for your coffee or use it for a nice cold Coke. The best soda you can drink, not Pepsi. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's, de- it's debatable. <laughs> not, not on this show. <laughs> All right, boys. So uh, onward to what the people have been waiting for. This is uh, our big topic this week. I think a lot of fans are going to be happy to hear about this. This week, we're going to be talking about TGIF on ABC. Mm-hmm. Does anybody remember that? the song? <laughs> I just remember like either coming into or going into the commercial. It's like the TGIF. Oh yeah, I remember the song. Do you remember the song, Duff? It went a little like this. Yeah. It's Friday night, and the mood is right. Gonna have some fun. Show you how it's done. T G G I F. This week on T G I F, Steve Urkel gets into shenanigans. Yeah, so T G I F. For us. Got any cheese? Oh, there we go. A little Urkel drop. I like that. Um, TGIF for, I think I speak for all of us, a huge part of our childhood, right? Um, this was, you know, Friday night, the school week is over. The parent, our parents work week is over. Let's all get on the couch in the living room for two hours and, and sit and watch some wholesome comedy. You know, there's probably some lessons that'll be learned. Uh, um, oh, yeah. just, just good. Just a good, especially with the Tanner party. family. Oh yeah, the Tanners had some good lessons, and and of course, family matters. But we won't we won't debate which lessons were better. We've already we've already figured that piece out. <laughs> Sorry, Duff. <laughs> but not. just uh, so a, a little history, I'll, I'll give you guys out there that, that don't know. Um, TGIF was the the brainchild of uh, a producer at ABC at the time named Jim Janicek. He was a young and upcoming producer, and his th- this idea. So he grew up probably it must have been maybe the 70s, early 80s, when they had the Disney Sunday night on ABC, where they always showed a Disney movie. And he always had fond memories of that as a kid. And he wanted to bring that back to families and to TV, you know, in the in the late 80s and into the 90s. And I mean, I think he succeeded. I mean, you guys would probably agree, right? I mean, he did what he intended to do. It was just great television. Um, I mean, we're talking about it right now, so we did something, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, uh, you know, you had iconic and enduring shows that are still, you know, they still show reruns on cable or on streaming services. So, yep, yep. I mean, they have what spinoffs now: Fuller House and um, <laughs> Girl Meets World. I mean, a lot of these shows are still around with with new in- incarnations, um, which exactly shows that they withstood the test of time. Um, 1989 since 1989 that's when uh tgif officially debuted under that moniker uh september 22nd of that year and the first original lineup of tgif do you, either of you guys know what was the first original lineup of the four shows including time slots uh if you can if you know them that's, that's a bonus i guess yeah so i mean i looked this up i'm trying to think trying to see if i remember so it was Full House as at eight, right? Yep. Then Family Matters was at eight thirty. Yep. Perfect Strangers at nine. Uh, the nine thirty was oh, I can't remember. Um, was it Random Show? Was it was it that one that was only on once? Uh, it was on for. It, it was around for a few years. It was on, I think, a couple of years even before TGIF was official. <clears throat> it's a, it was a spinoff of a another show. And I know that you and I are, it's like a cult classic kind of a deal. No? Can't remember. Just the 10 of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Just the 10 of us. It was a spinoff of... uh, Growing Pains. Growing Pains. Yeah, Yeah. I always get that mixed up. Family Ties are Growing Pains. Yeah, he was the... Yeah. He was the gym teacher, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great theme Uh, song. 
Yeah, I love that. I was like, that's I was doing the ass. the best I can. <laughs> no one can beat her. I just remember in the uh, the intro when he's oh. dancing like. <laughs> Classic. Do you remember that one, Duff? Just the ten of us. I I, I must have turned the TV off at that point. Oh. I, don't know. I usually I usually turn it off before Perfect Strangers, but that's a uh, you know uh-huh. the thing that we'll talk about later. Fair, fair well, enough. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> Just the ten of us from TGIF. I knew it from later on when they showed reruns on USA. Yeah, same, same. I used to like. W- w- when was that? Like, was that on? Like, when we got home from school or like? I remember it being mornings. on like during the daytime or something. Mornings. Mornings. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I remember like watching. I mean, it. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I was staying even up that late. I mean, what was what were we like four or five years old? I don't know if I was staying up until like nine thirty, which that's what it would have been on, right? What? I think. Loser. <laughs> come on what four-year-old doesn't stay up till midnight what are you some kind of square was, the only time i did that was uh new year's eve rocking uh rocking new year's eve with dick clark come on oh hey yeah that was a good reason to stay up late yeah <laughs> all right so let's let's dive in a little bit to to some of these shows that that original lineup because that's where it all started um or and I guess early memories of as far back as you remember. I'll, I'll go to you, Duff. Um, what are do you remember this original lineup? And if not, what are some of your earliest memories of of watching TGIF? I mean, I don't have a specific memory of like the first time I turned on or was like sitting there watching TGIF with my family, but yeah. I have memories of TGIF and. Um, you know, Full House being part of it, Family Matters. I think Full House eventually didn't it like just get its own time slot on another day, and it was like awful. Yeah, I think it moved to two. Yeah, it was only a. Yeah, it just got its own thing altogether because it was just too good for it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. hard to argue that. <laughs> no, and and then I remember, yeah, Family Matters was a big part of it, but yeah, I mean, my memories are just like kind of like what you uh, opened with, where. You know, it was a, a whole week of going to school, being tired from going to school. And you're like, oh, finally, it's the weekend. And, you know, my parents, you know, they had a full week of work and they're getting off. And I don't know about you guys, but like it also brings back memories of like, you know, ordering a pizza for dinner and, yes. you know, eating a pizza, sitting around. I know it's eight o'clock, a little late to be eating dinner, but I don't know, I just make that connection. <laughs> you know, a, a pizza pie, a beats. A nice um, beats, yeah. A nice beats, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it just kind of <laughs> uh, just brings back memories of just kind of sitting around with the family and like it was it was TV that I know my parents would be okay with, um, and you know my brother sister would actually sit around and watch for the most part. So it, it kind of brought everybody together, you know, just to kind of sit around and and watch uh, some good quality television with some life lessons kind of thrown in there. Like yeah. awkwardly sometimes, and you can always tell when they're having the life lessons. The music would change to yeah. Oh, yeah. serious, very you know, slow, um, sentimental song. You know, well, that's that's when you knew it's like, all right, everybody, shut up. We got to listen to what lessons are being taught to us here. But, but then one more um, joke before it ends. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, it always end on that. But uh, I mean, kind of look at it. It's like they really don't do that with TV today. Like. It was like kind of purpose to some of those episodes, some of those shows and some of those things. I mean, while it was more of like humor that was being given to you with those TV shows, um, some of those things that they dove into were kind of some serious, um, you know, issues during that time and even issues that you might even be dealing with today. So um, it was it was uh, there was always something to kind of keep your interest in it. And uh, and obviously, you know, John Stamos. So that's it. (laughs) That's a winner for you right there. And the, <laughs> How about you, Cass? What kind of uh, early memories of TGIF do you have? I was just going to jump off what Duff said and you know, with the lessons and the morals. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Like, even though it was heavy handed, it wasn't done in a preachy way. Like, it was done in a heavy handed way and it was kind of sappy. But again, it wasn't like the whole <laughs> thing was preachy and it was like trying to shove a certain way of thinking down your throat. It was just like, you know, middle of the road kind of like morality tales you know in the end but you know all you know surrounded by humor right um early memories so i think a lot of the shows that were on tgif i feel like i knew not all of them but a good portion but i feel like i knew better from syndication because they weren't just on 
at that time in those time slots, you know, on Friday and those time slots with, with yep. a few exceptions like uh, dinosaurs. I knew from TGIF and watching it in that time. So, you know, I think they had reruns at some point too. Um, but like, you know, full house, I probably watched a little bit on TGIF and then, you know, again, later on that one, I came about, I came across, uh, I think a cousin was talking about, I had never heard of it before and was you know, saying like talking about this and that and Kimmy Gibbler was like, what is it? And I watched it. I was like, oh, I love this show. It was awesome. I know if I talk smack about it when we did our throwdown with uh, family matters. You, know, well, yeah, you had to pick course. and choose. I get it. You, you have yeah. to, you know, we, we like these. We picked wrong, shows. but it's okay. <laughs> we like all these, all these older shows, you know, with kind of a wink at the camera. We know that it's, you know, they're, they're sappy, but you know, loved them right. when we were younger. And as adults, it's like, if we had just, come across them for the first time might not like them as much um so yeah i remember like i said mainly from tgif i remember watching dinosaurs and looking forward to that every week um but otherwise like shows like perfect strangers those were on i feel like during the daytime when we were younger and i loved that show you know, i loved yeah, me too Dalky as a kid um and then watching it as an adult on hulu i've come to appreciate larry and how funny he was um <laughs> and family matters you know everybody loved urkel you know, everybody laughed at urkel like the, that was the show um and then there you know as time went on you know once we venture into like the mid 90s and you have boy meets world and you have step by step and again like i watched those on tgif but got more familiar with them in syndication i would say yeah, I was going to, I had the same. So when you said step by step and you said mid 90s, like in my head for some reason, I always thought like step by step was around like 94, 95. But do you know the step by step debuted fall of 91? So it was like only the yeah. second wow. season, like pretty early. Like in my head for Ooh, whatever early. reason, I thought it like came a lot later, but it really didn't. Yeah. So I was kind of shocked. It, it lasted pretty long. It yeah, it did. I think that one till maybe 97 or so. So like six, yeah. you know, six years, which is well, you know, pretty, it, pretty it probably lasted, which is actually shorter than some of the other shows, but based because it started when it did, it felt like it lasted so much longer, you know, because it, the other shows, you know, Full House, Family Matters, Perfect Strangers, those were all mid to late 80s debuts. Right. So by the time they ended up, it felt like they were off so early and then well, not really Full House and Family Matters so much. Those went on, felt like, for an eternity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they lasted a long time. But yeah, step by step, it felt like. Not long enough. <laughs> well, yeah, it now I, in perpetuity with Fuller House. Yeah, still, yeah. still there. Um, so I, I was a big, when we were talking about step by step, I was a big fan of, of step by step. Um, just that, you know, if there's kids out here that are watching this that, Maybe never even heard of that one because it was kind of you know second tier below Full House and Family Matters. Mm -hmm. It was basically a modern day take on the Brady Bunch, I guess you would say, like a nuclear family. You had you know Patrick Duffy yeah. and um, my cousin. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> your distant <laughs> relative over there, Mister Duffy. Third cousin, uh, like four times removed or something like that. But, yeah. And he had his his yeah, three he kids. Himself on the family tree. That's how. Far <laughs> <laughs> No joke. Um, people really would ask me about that. And say, are you on, really? Like I would. I would. Yeah. When I was growing up, and I'd be like, absolutely. Yeah. It's on my uh, dad's <laughs> side, and they would believe me. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so he, he, you know, he had his three kids, and uh, Suzanne Summers, right? She had her. Suzanne Summers. She was the she was the mom. She had her three kids, and then you had you know the wacky nephew uh, Cody. 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 Yeah, I lived Cody down in a in van. In a van in the driveway, probably smoking tons of <laughs> Down pot. by the river? No. <laughs> uh, just I, I always enjoyed that show. There was a wide range of characters. Uh, like you had the nerdy kid and you had the tomboyish girl and you had the, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the Barbie type older sister and a little rough and tough uh, boy. Good. Yeah, it was just a good mix of different characters. And um, the parents always got into Patrick Duffy was a good character. And I think he had a lot of um he was famous from was it dallas he was in the show dallas from like the yes. 80s right so i that think a lot of so, yeah if the, if our parents are watching it with us you know they had connection to him <laughs> um and suzanne summers from from shows from company. the prior decade so um, what, what was the uh, thing she became famous for the uh oh, the, three's no, company I, did she like come the, out with like a uh a, a thigh master thigh master. <laughs> thigh master thank you yes we had one of those in our I house master. i think oh <laughs> You still have one we of still those. still make them. 
to make Do they still make them? They do. I'm she's, she's still getting royalties. <laughs> it's a step by step. When I, and of course the another good intro that one with you know with the the roller coaster in the oh, amusement yeah. park on the beach. Like where where the hell is that? Like wherever that was. Anybody know where that amusement park was? I think they yeah, they filmed it in California. Um, I, I know they filmed it there, but was it supposed to take place in California? Is it I don't remember if it was. I thought it was supposed to take take place in like Wisconsin or something. Yeah, I think that sounds familiar. But I think they filmed that just, like roller coaster scene as like a park out in California. I just pulled Wisconsin out of my posterior. Let me look this up and see. I sounds, think it is. I think you're actually right. Yeah, this I think you are. Sounds right. Because I, why do I feel like uh, something happened with like the Packers or something? Yeah, like, me too. Packers, I'm remembering something. Like I think fans of something with that or something. Al, the other tomboy girl, was a fan of the Packers. Let's see. I mean, while you're while you're looking that up, uh, kind of a point Port, to bring up, Port, was it? No? Sorry, Port Washington, Wisconsin. There you go. Good job. Oh, and there you go. The, the parents met in Jamaica. Oh yeah, on a, on on vacation or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, yeah. No, yes. I, I was just gonna say, like, you know, you brought up the fact of uh, you know the opening sequence with them on the roller coaster. You know, another thing like that I just remember is just the opening sequences for all the shows. All of them. Don't really so do that good. anymore either. TV yeah. shows today, they just like go right into the show. Like they yeah. might have a quick little recap, like a, you know, it might pop up with like the name of the show and the episode name or whatever. But yeah. back then it was like, you'd look forward to seeing the intro. They'd have the short version and they'd have the longer version. And yeah. sometimes it was a treat if you got the long version. Like, <laughs> ooh, I don't remember this part. Like the whole thing with Full House. Like there's a whole longer version of the Full House theme song. And the guy who did that, the, the song for, for that one, did basically like mo- a majority of the music for a lot of the uh, the shows on TGIF. I think he did Perfect Strangers, Matters, Family Matters, um, and Step by Step, I believe. Do we remember his? Do you know his name? Give him a shout out. I don't remember his name. Uh, I can no. look it up. Yeah, we'll have to. Because <laughs> I, well, I mean, back, away, back to the, up another thing. Whoever he is, he's I a think. legend. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did all of those. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but they don't have that anymore, and like. Yeah, it's kind of like something that's missing in TV nowadays. But. I agree. I'm well, I mean, with you. Our, our podcast is about, you know, nostalgia for that late 80s, early 90s time. And that's why our intro has, you know, like, it's kind of an homage to those yes, true. silly, but, you know, <laughs> effective and, uh, you know, like catchy intros. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. That's, I what, think that's about, why we did it. How, I wonder, one of the Family Matters intros isn't it Carl coming home and throwing his hat and it lands on the hat rack? The coat I rack? think so. How many takes do you think that took? <laughs> I mean, for, Reginald, for... Reginald Vell Johnson's a badass. So he probably just <laughs> I was going to say one take. Like, out. <laughs> <laughs> it would not surprise me one bit. No. I also, in that intro too, I love <laughs> when the entire family is pushing Urkel out of the house. And <laughs> <against> <laughs> the <door. laughs> Little pipsqueak. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's amazing. Urkel was supposed to be a one off character. Yes. He was just supposed that. to be yeah. you know, in one episode and then he became the show over time. Yeah. yeah. For better or for was worse. It, I feel like he was uh wasn't he like one of those characters too on TGIF that made his way around many of the other T V shows oh, yeah. on there too? They they did like... crossovers. But yeah. they definitely did full house and <clears throat> Family Matters crossovers. Yep. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Family Matters itself is a spinoff of Perfect Strangers. Yes. Because Harriet true. was in Perfect Strangers. She was the elevator operator, which is a very outdated profession. Um, but she was an elevator <laughs> operator in Larry and Balky's office building. And she was a very <laughs> popular character. And then her husband, Carl, is in one episode. And I guess they were both so you know highly liked that they gave him a spinoff. And genius move because it became one of the most popular sitcoms of all time and generation defining one i find that so cool that they did like spinoffs like that and made like they're made different you know made spinoff shows off of like one or two characters that were on an episode of this other popular show like it's like its own little universe like i don't know why that that makes me happy like it's just so cool (laughs) that they did that (laughs) it's awesome i feel like for every one of those that succeeded there's another 10 that's like who the hell cares about this you know, schmuck on the show. <laughs> like, right. is, you know, like, who greenlit this spin-off? Like, this spin-off? <laughs> so what, would we, what would we call this? A TGIF universe? Kind of like the Marvel universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> TGIF universe. I'd like to go there for a day. That'd be pretty cool. That would be fun. 
Meet everybody, so, hang out. One that would be maybe hard pressed to to mix into this universe is uh, dinosaurs, um, it's because that took place so so much long, love so much long ago, so much so long ago. <laughs> Easy for me to say. <laughs> it could show, still, took, it could still be show, part of it. Used <laughs> to show dinosaur took place so much long ago. <laughs> <laughs> now I, um, I I have vague memories of dinosaur. Um, and I remember having some of the toys and I feel like there was toys at pizza hut at one point of dinosaurs. You guys remember that? I think I had a, the baby mm -hmm. that I got from, from pizza hut. Uh, maybe it was, I do not remember. Pretty sure. I'm the baby. You gotta love me. Yeah. Either way. Uh, you know, a great show. I, I'd like to go back and when that came out on Disney plus, um, I said, I was going to go back and watch it and I just haven't got around to it yet, but I'd like to watch that again with adult eyes because from what i know what you've told me duff and from what i've read online is like there was a lot of um adult theme things that maybe as a kid you didn't even realize what was going on so um uh, i'll throw it over to you guys it, you know to dive more into dinosaurs on your memories of that show and anything that stuck with you or stuff that you've rewatched if you rewatch it at all i haven't rewatched it but i wanted to yeah um and by all accounts, anybody who has rewatched it says it holds up you know, fantastically well, was very ahead of its time and you know, like was pretty thematically rich. Um, you know, from when I was a kid, I remember like Duff alluded to on the baby gotta love me that song. <laughs> I remember, I, oh, yeah. I remember we taped it off TV on a blank VHS. I remember watching that on repeat, rewinding over and over and over. <laughs> that was like, the funniest thing that ever happened. Um, couple episodes I remember one is where Robbie starts doing thornoids which were Robbie. like steroids, steroids. <laughs> I do I, I remember that episode actually I, I remember part of that yeah does it to make the wrestling team or the football team because he has his friend Spike um, oh, yeah, Spike. It, it were these like little thorny animals that he ate <laughs> and then he started growing thorns you know it was like a message against steroids which was a big thing at the time um and then I remember another one where they were eating this plant and it was like an anti-drug message. I guess it was you know, supposed to be like you know, <laughs> eat or Coke or something, but you know, Earl and maybe Robbie start going crazy eating it and like they get addicted to it. And the mom takes the baby um, and <laughs> in a take on, <laughs> a take on, you know, the, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. The other <laughs> frying pan. Maybe the baby's like, this is your brain. This is your brain on the plant. And then hit Earl with the fire. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> and this has come up once other on this podcast, voiced by Kevin Clash, I believe, Baby Sinclair. Yes. So yes. we have Elmo, Baby Sinclair, and Splinter. That's what a legend. A, yeah, wow. That's uh, something to really put on a resume right there. Yeah, yeah. seriously. What about you, Duff? I feel you um, say something. No, I just, uh, yeah, like a lot of, I don't have, you know, I have a couple specific memories from the show. Um, I just remember, it, you know, having some adult humor where I think, you know, if I went back to watch it today, I'd probably still be laughing. Um, you know, just the, the every day they would always wear the same clothes. You know, it's just like that, you know, Robbie would always have his like Letterman jacket on or whatever. Um, I do remember one thing. I don't, I, I think it was on the show where it was like, they would make fun of, um, I think they were trying to make fun of kind of like Mr. Wizard. I don't know if I'm really dating myself here. Mr. Wizard, the old show that used to be, I think, on Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, yep. And they would go on there and like they, you know, I, I always remember them having like some funny little snippets of like them watching TV or something. And they would do that one where it was like the guy, one dinosaur guy, like as the, the scientist or whatever, you'd have a little kid there. They do science experiments and then something would blow up and the kid would like blow up or whatever. And like, oh, we're going to need another Timmy. <laughs> I think, I think that was from that. About that. I think that was from that. They'd like show that, and then and they'd zoom out, and you'd show like they'd show Earl and like the baby like laughing or whatever, and thinking it was hilarious. Um, I don't remember that. That sounds great. hysterical. I liked how the neighbor yeah. was a brontosaurus or a brachiosaurus, and it was just like her, her head and neck would come into the show. Oh yeah, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. this was a um, uh, for those that don't know, a Jim Henson production, right? Probably one of his yes, last. I don't, yeah. I was going to say, I don't think he was actually able to see the final product of uh, oh. that was great. I think that was like right towards the end, if I'm not mistaken. That's a shame. Um, but yeah, Charlene that's his handiwork. Charlene. <laughs> Who did you say? Oh, Sally really? oh, yeah. yeah, she was Charlene. Oh, wow. I believe. Uh -huh. Didn't know yeah, that. I think there were a, few, okay. a few somewhat known, I mean, not like really famous, but I know that uh, 
the guy who played mm-hmm. Earl was on an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I looked up recently who played Fran, and I she was in something else I can't remember, which is useless and not informative in any way. <laughs> to bring it up, but... it was a lady that was in something. <laughs> and Sherman Hemsley was uh, uh, Mr. Richfield, the boss. Oh yeah, yeah. It was just badass in his trailer that Earl was afraid to go into and see. Oh yeah, he was scared I, of him all the time. It always like he was like yeah. overflowing out of his seat. I, like, I used to think that there was, was like it, a Was it, were they like lumberjacks he, or something? Something like that. Or yeah, I mean, they would just like, they would push trees down or something like that. And yeah, that was it. Or something. Was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with uh, his friend Roy, who was the yeah. T-Rex. Yeah, you always have like a hard hat on or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, all the memories are flooding back right now. Yeah, okay. was, gotta go was, rewatch. There was, little, there was a little bit of uh, honeymooners and Flintstones in it, yeah. too. I would want to say, mm-hmm. yeah, so probably I some agree. inspirations there. Yeah. All right, so another show I wanted to bring up is one that came maybe at the tail end of when we were watching TGIF. Um, this one debuted in the spring of '93, and that is Boy Meets World. Now, Boy Meets World is starring, I think, one of our favorite actors or, or family of actors, right? As kids, uh, Ben Savage. Savages. Mm-hmm. Savages. Savages. I um, love Fred Savage <laughs> yes. and Ben Savage and the Technic. Ch- children of Randy Savage. <laughs> yeah, Randy, <laughs> Randy Macho Man Savage, yes. Yes. Oh, huh. How about that? <laughs> um, yeah, well, when uh, when uh, Ben Savage came around, it's like, wait, there's another Savage? And it's like, which Savage is better? That could be a throwdown. Oh, that is a good one. Fred versus Ben. That's a very like good mm. Yeah. The Winnie body Cooper of, versus has, the, uh, the body of work is kind of limited, but two iconic shows that they're on, Wonder Years and yeah. Boy Meets World. Yeah. Who has better, better Brillo hair? hair. <laughs> well, I mean, Ben's got the only Brillo. Fred Savage had that like <laughs> wave, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, so w- w- what are your guys, you have memories of, of watching Boy Meets World? And, you know, as mentioned, I brought up Topanga quick. I know she was like a, a heartthrob, I guess, for a lot of kids that grew up in the 90s. She was one of those uh, one of those <clears throat> many girls that, you know, all, all little guys like us were interested in, in seeing on TV every week. <laughs> what are your guys' memories of Boy Meets World? I like Boy Meets um, World. Yeah. You, go ahead, Joe. No, you, yeah, after you, sir. Um, yeah, it was a good show. And again, probably one that I watched more off TGIF uh, than on. Um, but I didn't stick with it for that long. I watched it more early on. So <clears throat> I wasn't really on the Topanga bandwagon because wow. I feel like when she started becoming more of a uh, like a teen idol, not a teen idol, but like, you know, when all the guys started really liking her was when her character got less like trippy what because i watched it more like the first few seasons and she was like the weird girl yeah really weird nerdy girl she was like Mm -hmm. one Um, i mean she's got a name of topanga was that was minkus on that show is that with the nerd on the Mm -hmm. show yeah yeah she was like kind of like almost the female version of him um but it was a solid show i remember one of the only episodes i remember and it's it's funny so when we were in college, when we were in our house senior year, Duff, you were watching Boy Meets World in the living room. And I didn't hear it. I didn't know what you were watching. I had no idea. I was upstairs. I came down to the living room and you're watching Boy Meets World. I was like, oh, I was like, you know, the only episode I really remember the show is when Corey is getting made fun of for having curly hair. And he puts this like relaxer in his hair to straighten it <laughs> out. But he leaves it in for 45 minutes instead of 45 seconds or whatever it's supposed to be. And his hair is gets completely straight and he, he's wearing a hat later in the episode and he takes it <laughs> off and his hair is in the shape of the hat. And I'm going through this explanation to you and you just look at me like, are you kidding? Pointed to the TV and that was the episode that was on. I was like, get the hell out of here. Like, what, what were the odds? <laughs> the show I hadn't watched in forever and that, that was, was on. But solid show. I don't, I don't, what is this? So you guys might know better than I would. Mr. Feeney, how? How is he on the? How does he remain like their? Te- is is he the teacher for every grade? <laughs> oh, for the later. Well, he was the teacher, yeah. and then did he become the principal? I think and so. I don't know. Yeah. I, it, it, I think he was it, still. And he was the neighbor. He, he was, was the neighbor, neighbor too. too. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I thought I I I, I love the show. 
Um, it was it was actually a show I definitely remember sitting down and watching it TGI Friday. You know, like TGIF lineup. At, you're at TGI um, Fridays watching it. TGI Before Fridays uh, getting the Sesame Jack chicken strips. <laughs> yeah. uh, TGI Fridays, you know, <laughs> sitting down they had it on the screens there. It was great. Yeah. Some um, people cheer for football <laughs> and basketball there. You're like, yeah, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> <laughs> exactly um uh, yeah there was like it was one of the few shows that like i really do remember sitting down and watching um and getting into is again one of the later ones on i think the programming but um yeah i was a big fan of it um the characters i don't know they were all kind of goofy and funny and like you know they started off elementary school and i think they went all the way up into college didn't they didn't like, yeah. that was the whole thing it went on for a long time it was like 10 11 seasons or something like that yeah yeah, I think it's three yeah, to like oh three or something like that. Yeah, it was it was a while. But uh yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with you cast on the whole Topanga thing. I mean, you know, she kind of just uh after like I don't remember what season it was, but she just like turned into a female. And I was like, she Whoa, blossomed. hello. Yeah. <laughs> and not to confuse the you know with the show Blossom, but yes. Uh, whoa. <laughs> um <laughs> nice. whoa. uh but yeah, making a connection with that show, uh was it his brother? Uh, wasn't he uh, in the later seasons? Uh, I can't. I lose track of some of those Lawrence kids. Oh, uh, uh, Joey Matthew, Lawrence, Matthew uh, Lawrence. The, the younger brother. Math, yeah, yeah, the younger one. The he was. Uh, yeah, he played like a roommate or college friend or something. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Um, I don't know. My always my biggest thing from that show, like, yeah, it was great. Um, it was always my thing with Eric Matthews, the brother, the older brother. I always found it interesting how. The earlier seasons of that show, he played like, um, you know, he was very stern. He kind of played like the jerk older brother. He wasn't like, you didn't really like him that much. And I want to say it was after maybe season two or three. It was pretty early on. He turned into just an absolute goofball, like yeah. moron character. Really dumb, like right? he went, yeah, really dumb. He went from like very stern, like the jerk older brother. who was like very serious. And then all of a sudden a switch went off and he just turned into like, you know, uh, cheeseburger short of a happy meal kind of a older brother. I don't know, it's just <laughs> weird how it transitioned so quick. But as we know, some of the shows in these uh these TGIF lineups, um, there was a lot of like quick little things that they would take out and and hope that people would notice. So like I, I feel like that could have been like characters. I was gonna maybe get you know get into that a tiny bit, but yeah. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna um, dive into that? Or was that was that a nice tangent for you, Cass? Like, yeah, so I just you had something. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, what, what, what we were alluding to was that when Family Matters started off, there were three kids. There were three Winslow kids. There was Ed and, Laura <laughs> and Judy. Judy was the middle child. And I think that she went upstairs one day and then never came back down. <laughs> she was written off the show because they didn't really have anything for her to do. And I think... I don't think they made any mention to it, did they, in the show? They're like, they, didn't, they just completely like so. forgot about her? They didn't say a and word I, about her? I think ultimately that's a good move because I think what separates family matters from a show <clears throat> like step by step, step by step was really good. There's too many characters. Like how yeah, do you devote your time to all those characters? Like family matters had a fairly large cast to begin with. And before they started augmenting it with Jillian white pay, playing Myrtle Urkel and Stefan and like <laughs> all these other characters, you know, like you had your main cast that they would put, the focus on and then you're like ancillary like the grandmother and like aunt rachel whatever but what were yeah what were they going to do with a middle child who there was no there was no use for it? so i think that was a smart move thinning out the cast a little bit only to be and they changed didn't no oh, voice crack <laughs> bring me back to my my puberty days yeah. I, no, didn't they change I know, out the mother I know you, with family matters <laughs> i know you're very upset about judy being written on the show <laughs> <laughs> they changed it <laughs> see i was just so passionate about it <laughs> yeah i yeah the i think the last season was a different harriet but i didn't even know that until later because i wasn't watching the show i think i caught a rerun once it's like what the hell is that like <laughs> what, there's another harriet it's sweet like harriet fresh, it's like fresh prince of harriet Bella. sweet harriet yeah same did the same thing there too <laughs> harriet harry it hard-hearted <laughs> harbinger of haggis that's a whole other thing we can go down. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so got that reference. Yeah, some, <laughs> some Mike Myers fans out there in, in, in the world, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. 
So, so I, go, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. I have to bring up. So my favorite of the bunch is Perfect Strangers. And in preliminary talks for the show, we discovered that Mr. <clears throat> Duff doesn't particularly care for Perfect Strangers. So before I say what I like about it, what's, what's the deal? Why, why don't you like it? To adjust my mic here, so um, it's falling down. <laughs> so you're just you're you, again you're passionate about it, just like my voice cracking. Um, I, I kind of boiled it down. Like I, I tried to you know watch a little bit of it in the uh, the past couple of days leading up to this um, to really kind of pinpoint what my dislike was for this show. Um, you know the character of of what Balky. I thought he was funny. He was, you know, innocent, whatever. He, you know, is kind of like the focal point of the show, obviously. And, uh, you know, with just his, you know, antics and just being from, you know, not from this country was supposed to be the idea of making it funny. Yeah. But uh, I think I boiled it down. I think I figured it out. And my dislike from the show boils down to Larry. I don't like Larry. I don't think he's, I don't know, I find his character more annoying than I actually do find funny. Um, and I was actually doing a little bit of a, like a dig into the show and found that Larry's character, who I, I don't remember his, uh, the, the real actor's name. Um, in Mark, Lynn life, Baker. The, Mark Lynn uh, Baker. Wow, he knows a hyphenated part. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's there for a reason. Actually, <laughs> he's, a, he's a dashing guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought my camera froze there for a second. Um, no, uh, yeah, I saw that it was actually thought of that they were going to try to have Louis Anderson play the role initially. Oh. And <laughs> they didn't like the <laughs> chemistry between him and the character of Balky. Um, that was Balky, you're from Meepos. This is very different from where you are. You're in Chicago now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, top four answers are on the board. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been That's quite still, the change. Holy cow! Well, it would yeah, have been I, I don't think it would have made it any better. But mm -hmm. um, I, I just, yeah, I, I think I just boil it down to the character of Larry. I just really wasn't a fan of his character, um, and I think that's kind of what it it stems from. Um, and you know, I, I watched my fair share of episodes and everything, but uh, I don't know. It was like one of those ones where if it was on you know, in the background or whatever. It was one of those things where maybe I was doing something else while it was on. Just, mm -hmm. you know, kind of zone into it. But yeah, please uh, lead off and well, tell us why. Well, you got it. You got all of the theme song. The theme song is great. Well, like, again, oh, by the way, um, theme song created by a oh, Mr. Yeah. Jesse Frederick. Oh, okay. Jesse Frederick okay. created the theme for Perfect Strangers, Full House, Family Matters, Step by Step. Um, wow. Wow. And it, it's you, you listen to it. It is it is a good theme song. I give you that. Um, you know, it's got that. It's got a very you know distinct it's sound. Like to it, harmonica like, or something. Oh, what is it? Yeah. yeah, it's got a little harmonica sound in there. Yeah. Um, Standing tall, <laughs> wings of our dreams. I always think of them like being stuck in the wind, like fighting that. to. <laughs> but. I, but, I love it. I, lo I loved it as a kid. And then <clears throat> it came on Hulu because it had been off TV for a pretty long time. And I was so excited to watch it again because I wanted to revisit it. The only other time I got to see it was I rewatched the very first episode, I think, at the Museum of the Moving Image. Um, and I was like, all right, that was OK. Yeah, I think I saw it in college. But then when it came on Hulu, I was like, I want to watch a whole bunch of episodes. And the sons of bitches at Hulu took it down recently because <laughs> I went to watch it. I'm very upset. Oh, no. I watched it a lot. So Taylor and I watched it a lot. I wanted to introduce the show <clears throat> to Taylor, my fiance, because she hadn't watched it. It ended. She's younger than we are. And it ended the same year she was born. So I was like, watch the show with me. And she watched like part of an episode that was stupid. I was like, just give it a chance. So we watched an episode called Hunks Like Us. And it's the second season. And it's an episode where... <laughs> they join a health club well balky joins the health club first and then larry's like ah you know it's just like you're wasting your money you're not going to go whatever and then jennifer walks in who would eventually be his wife on tv you know like hot younger girl that lives in their building and she worked at the health club and he's like yeah was like, of course i'm gonna sign up so they go larry and balky and do this hours long workout 
where like they think they're fine and they invited jennifer and her friend marianne over for dinner same day they went to the gym they they take a nap like they pass out and they wake up and they're like so sore they can't even move and i think if you saw that episode and there's one other one where it's like it's probably the hardest i've ever laughed at a tv show just because it's so absurd uh something from one of the later seasons it's just it's funny like it as a connection to my youth, you know, like as a kid, I liked Balky a lot because Balky is the more accessible character. But opposite to what you're saying, how you don't like the show because of Larry, I think Larry's kind of the glue that holds the show together because Balky is, you know, the clown. And uh, like you need the straight man to, you know, the clown in the act. And I think that he actually has a lot of funny, funny lines. You know, like he's, you know, like, it's like in volleyball, you know, you have to have somebody to set up the spike and he's the, you know, the setup, but it's funny. It's a great show, but I, I get it. I get why you think it's kind of, you know, run of the mill scales. So what you're saying is Louis Anderson would have been better. <laughs> no, nobody's saying that at all. At all. Even Louis Anderson doesn't think that. <laughs> the survey says He no. just showed up to my apartment. He says he's my cousin. He's a perfect stranger. <laughs> Top I'm three curious how they would have. Board. <laughs> how would they have made them be relatives? At least like Larry and Balky. Okay, you could see it's like, oh, okay, they could be related. But Louis Anderson, what are we doing here? No, wouldn't have worked out. I, I, I was a big <laughs> fan. Uh, just same as you, Cast. I, I don't. I haven't watched it. Gone back and rewatched it. Uh, now you probably can. since then. What's that? So Is there, there's can. no streaming. Yeah. There's no streaming service that plays it. It was on Hulu. Mm-hmm. I don't. It's. It was on ABC. Does ABC have a streaming service? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe would that be like? Isn't ABC like Disney or something? It is. So maybe maybe it's on Disney, Disney Plus, would have it. Uh, Could be. Um, I'll have to search it. If not, I'll put a I'll file a complaint. Yeah. Um, yeah maybe yeah. one of our listeners knows. Yeah. I'm going to write to, know. Write to Louis Anderson. <laughs> maybe Louis knows. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I just think he would be a terrible fan of the show. <laughs> no, it, just, it makes. I agree. It it makes no sense for him to be in that role. But apparently, they actually early. like tried it out, but. He could have been Earl in Dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a better role for him, actually. <laughs> With no costume or makeup, and he would have fit right in. <laughs> but Scales, we cut you off. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, I was a big fan of, uh, of Perfect Strangers. Um, I loved Balky as a kid. I just thought his, you know, his antics were just crazy. Well, of course you did. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> just wacky. Just, you know, <laughs> for a kid, he was super funny. And that's why I yeah. think I... I enjoyed that show. And of course the theme song, like we said, is you know, so good. So um, one of my favorites for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, let's dive elsewhere and go. To, so there's two remaining that we haven't really gone deep into, which we hit both of these on a, on a throwdown, <clears throat> but maybe we can recall any memories um, that we have about these shows. So we'll start with, uh, we'll start with full house uh, probably maybe the, I don't know. You could say there's the most prominent TGIF show, but it's probably Full House and Family Matters. Um, for Duffy, it's probably Full House. Maybe for us, it's Family Matters cast. But Full House, uh, we'll, we'll go to Duff first. I, I know you have to have memories of episodes that, that you watched as a kid um, that just left a lasting mark or you know make you happy thinking about. <sighs> there's so many. I mean, again, it's uh, I obviously remember watching it as a kid. Um, it had some staying power when I was a kid, but, you know, cast like you, um, you know, it's a syndication that I really kind of got sucked into it even more, um, watching it in college, you know, with you guys, yep. um, you know, we'd always have it on in the background. What time did it, it was at like, it's like a, like 12 o'clock. They would play like a couple, like on, uh, what was it? ABC family, ABC back family then. at the time. Yeah. I don't know if it was something else. It felt like forever o'clock. I was just showing always on. on. (laughs) Well, I would have it on in our room, and then like you know, our other roommate Dirk would have it on in there, and it's like you know, yeah. But um, I mean, there's so many episodes that kind of like you know stick out to me. But um, geez, I I don't I don't even know where to begin. There's so many. Um, How about Star Wars painting sad clown toad? (laughs) <laughs> that clown faces on your toenails. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, where, uh, why don't you? Why don't you guys? I'm going to try to think of something here. I'm going to try to pinpoint something. You guys got any uh, specific episodes that kind of come? Cass, to mind? you have you have one that's in the top of your mind. Um, I remember there was an episode where 
Danny has a guitar duel with another guy who can actually play guitar. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. Viper is that his name. Oh, Viper. That was the and, one that um, you tried to replace. The, he wanted to be in the band. They were trying to, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jesse yeah. And the Rippers. Danny called, Danny he was having a tryout. Danny called himself Mildew because he's such a clean dude. <laughs> and also, I remember one with it where it's was Jesse and the Rippers. Is that his band? Where mm-hmm. he was looking for a different image and he was the vulture and they. <laughs> they string him up on you know like a, on a wire and he's flying back and forth on the stage and it doesn't go well <laughs> um yeah i mean I, I do remember they had like the i think it was a two-parter the uh the marriage with uh you know becky and uh Aunt becky and uh, you know uncle jesse there um you know what he got like held up somewhere and he had to like parachute in or something like that and he ended up i i, I forget the exact why he was held up but it's I think he was held up for some reason. Uh, I have a distinct memory of another episode where, you know, all the girls DJ or something and Steph were like fighting and they were holding on to the, uh, like this, um, it's like coat hanger or something like, or, you know, coat rack and they jammed it into the wall and then they moved everything in, you know, um, yeah. their dad's room over just a little bit to compensate for the hole that they left. <laughs> and, you know, you know, I remember that. Danny Tanner, he comes in and he like, goes in and there's like a supposed to be a hook there and he like drops tries to drop something to leave it on the hook and it falls and then yeah he notices because he's such a you know, obviously a neat clean freak um, did they say i mean i could go on for, a, for him I, yeah yeah and there, it, like, it was something dad, like i think it was dad, a, dad. <laughs> dad, <yeah. laughs> but, i remember that <laughs> <laughs> i do yeah and it was i think it was because stephanie was trying to imitate dj and try to borrow her clothes or something like that I, it was something where she was trying to do something along those lines, but I mean, I could I could dive into an entire episode talking about episodes. Oh, yeah. this, we but, could do that. At one um, I, I was going to bring up the Disney know. episode. That one always they're on the, they're always have fond memories of that one. Okay, um, but they're, they're doing a radio broadcast on the water and they got stuck. Or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Danny and, and uh, Uncle Becky. Did, Uncle, did Jesse Uncle Becky? <laughs> 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 Well, that's what she might be called in what? jail. Yeah. She's yeah, called like, that in jail. But uh, DJ is uh, she's seeing Steve everywhere because he's not there, so she's imagining him like as Indiana Jones. And that's right. Act and but he, he, was really just, him. he was really just taking time off to do the voice of Aladdin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a, that was an interesting tie-in I did was, with Disney. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. That wasn't Uncle Jesse didn't propose in that one, did he? Uh. Was there something like underwater or something? With yeah, that? well, with the sharks. Uh, it was. It might have been. It was definitely it a two parter. So. Yeah, I'd have to, I'll have to I'd ask have to Dirk. I'm me. sure he's he's got it locked <laughs> in his, his brain. He probably knows. Right he's gonna be watching this episode, yelling at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Yeah, but that's yeah. Full. I mean, not like there's so many memories of Full House. It's hard to just mm-hmm. pick one, but obviously that's one of all of our favorites. Yeah. Um, do you have any memories of? Let's go. Let's go to Family Matters uh, before we go elsewhere. It's the last big show. Uh, any? Yeah, the big show. So I was gonna make a Paul White <laughs> joke. I can't believe you did it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, so um, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll I'll take this one first, just because I I watched a clip earlier today and I sent it to you guys. And when I watched it, I, I remembered it, but I hadn't thought about it in such a long time. And <laughs> Um, and it's something that could still apply today. It is, it's a, a topic that would make sense in a, in a TV show today. And it was the one where uh, Eddie is basically like racially profiled while driving through a predominantly white neighborhood and gets pulled over and they cuff him for, for not putting a blinker on, I guess is what the story that the, the cop says. But, you know, Carl confronts this cop in a, in a donut shop and he really, you know, he really lays into him and reams him and, um, Mm-hmm. It's. Just, I mean, it's just. It's like wow. Like this stuff. I mean, I don't know. It just gave me like goosebumps watching it. I don't know if it had the yeah. same effect if, if both of you guys watched it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I. I remember actually that episode. I remember watching that and seeing that, and it was just like kind of going back to what we were saying before. These shows where they have like, you know, some serious things that were going on, and um, you know that that was definitely something that could stuff could still ring true today with a lot of things. So yeah, um, for sure. But yeah, I mean, absolutely. and that one was just, I was fresh in my brain as obviously, cause I said, I, I saw that on a clip today on uh, TikTok. but 
there's so many memories of, of family matters. Um, what do you, obviously, the, the Steve will, you know, we can go back to, <laughs> to the Halloween episodes that we talked about oh with Steve. We, we've seen those a few times back in our college days. I was going to say what, what makes that, that scene effective too, yep. compared to how it might be done now is that Carl is black and a cop. Yeah. So like now it's just like, there's only like, they make it seem like there's only two sides. It's the cops or it's like whatever, but it's like, right. he's in that middle ground and it's not trying to portray all white people one way or all black people another way. Like there's like, he's talking about his son and this isn't right. And like, you know, right. this is something that happens and it shouldn't, but like, it's not condemning broadly like everybody, because obviously like he's a good cop, like he's, right. a role, he's a role model for everybody, you know, but yeah. it's a yeah. great scene. Yeah. He takes the, so there's like the young cop and then this, this other old cop that, you know, that mistreated uh, Eddie and then Carl takes the young cop aside and basically is like, you know, why, why do you, why are you a cop? You know? And it's yeah. like, well, to, to, to take down the bad guys. And Carl's basically like, well, you yeah, know, that is the bad guy. Take a look at your partner. Yeah. 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 So don't, yeah, don't learn from him basically. Yeah. He was a tremendous asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, every time Waldo <laughs> says, hey, Waldo, and he goes, what's up? Every time he goes, what's up? And then, cool. Every time. Cool. Anytime I see it. Waldo, Geraldo, Faldo. And every time he gets hit with the basketball in the <laughs> right in the head, I had to hurt. <laughs> yeah. he, he I had a... That show. <laughs> I had a, uh, yeah, one specific memory. I remember, I don't remember what episode it was. I just remember that Eddie was learning to drive and, you know, you know, he's going out with his dad or whatever. And I don't remember if they actually had the camera in there or they came back after the, after the fact, but, um, you know, it was like every five feet or something like that. You know, um, Carl was just like bread truck. And it's like, there was no bread truck here. And he just kept making fun of like this thing, like that, that there was a bread truck everywhere. So me being a kid thinking that was hilarious you know, driving around with my dad, I would always just yell out, Hey, bread truck, like, <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> so awesome. yeah, just like some, like some random little tidbit there, but I just always, I like still to this day, we'll joke around every now and again about a bread truck. <laughs> I remember, I remember an episode where I guess there was like a string of muggings going on and Carl was on the cover and he went <laughs> on the cover dressed up as a woman, maybe an old woman. And he came back, <laughs> came back home. He's all excited, like dressed up as an old lady. He's like, I got mugged. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Nice. Yeah. I remember another one where they spiked Urkel's drink at a party. I think they were on a rooftop and uh, he got wasted. And oh, almost, he like almost, almost fell off. Yeah. He just, like falls off the scaffolding oh, off the side of the building. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Show, show show was awesome before i think before they took the stefan route yeah because then yeah it definitely took a downturn change. and I, I get <clears throat> i get you know that they're trying to show <laughs> julio white's range and not having pigeonholed into playing the same character over and over and over but it just like the show started stretching itself a little thin yeah I but agree. a perfectly timed did i do that still lands so well like if you make a huge mess and if there's somebody who's gonna get a joke oh it's, still, it's great Urkel withstands the test of time he does there you and go. his his car his car oh my god oh, yeah god. The Urkel mobile <laughs> <laughs> I remember too, oh, what was his uh what was that girl that like was obsessed with him that she was like actually pretty attractive uh what was her name Myra yeah 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 and he was he was just obsessed with Laura I'm like dude Myra, right here. Hello. Yeah. Deer and right in front of him. And she's obsessed with him, so it's like it's perfect. Yeah. I remember there was an episode where he played basketball, and I think he was you know, like a virtuoso, <laughs> like an amazing of basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> Swish every shot. <laughs> I think I just remember him like doing like crazy dribbles between the legs. I haven't seen this episode. The stunt so double long. though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Cass, I know you put together uh, something of a, a list over there. You want to explain uh, what you did? So we've been talking about the more popular shows are the ones that we know the best from TGIF. But I want to run through the list of, we'll you know, briefly touch on the ones we talked about, but some of the less popular ones and then ones that you guys might not even know you existed. Before that, there were lineups on Friday nights 
It was like a four <laughs> four show block like TJF, but it wasn't called TJF yet. And I want to see if you guys were fans of any of these pre TJF shows. We have <clears throat> Webster. Oh, you guys yeah. watch Webster? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, solid show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, Mr. Belvedere. Oh, yeah. Yes. Joe, Mr. <laughs> Duff. Um, again, don't have any like huge memories of it other than I just remember you know, going back to what we're saying. The theme song. I remember the theme song being kind of just like, you know, very like, um, I don't know, exaggerated and just like, you know, you listen to the lyrics. I think there's a part where he talks about drop kicking a jacket um, <laughs> when he yes. walks through the door. And I'm like, what? Yeah. It's just kind of a fun theme song, and Bob Euchre is in it. Um, you know, you know the famous voice from Major League, uh, which maybe we can get into one day. Um, yeah. You know, the voice of the Milwaukee Brewers. I think I don't know if he's still doing it. Um, he's like 112. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still in his fun. 90s. Oh yeah, he's he's cool. Uh, he's up know. there. He's up there. But uh, yeah, I just remember you know him being in there, and yeah, I guess the premise was just like a. A butler from you know overseas across the pond coming over and just you know his way of life adapting to whatever. was bob Euchre the yeah. was he the dad of the show yeah. or he was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, <clears throat> the theme song for mr belvedere is one of those things where it's like and i have a few anecdotes about some of these other shows when I was a kid, I felt like I didn't see things right. I didn't hear things right. I didn't recognize, like, I've, some of these things feel like a fever dream. And my, <laughs> my recollection of the Mr. Belvedere theme, I was thinking about it now, is like, it couldn't possibly have sounded like that. And I watched it. I watched the intro right before the show. I was like, no, it's exactly what I thought it was. When I was <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> piano uh, beginning, and then it just, yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very funny. Yeah, I was like, I definitely misheard a word. There's no way that the word China is in the intro. And it's definitely, it's like the second <laughs> word. <laughs> China. Uh, oh, China. Yeah. I love China. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. Different, stro <laughs> different strokes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sp Absolutely. Speaking of theme songs, that's one of my favorites of all time. Different strokes to rule the world. <laughs> yeah. I used to love, that was, that was one of my favorite shows growing up. Uh, didn't watch it on friday nights uh, you know in another one it was like reruns uh that and the facts of life used to watch mm -hmm. family ties yeah Girl. all those kind of you know i get them confused every now and again mm -hmm. yeah here's <laughs> here's one scales benson oh benson uh, another offshoot of of yeah, soap another, right another, yeah yeah so scale yeah. duff did you watch it with us too you watched a little bit of soap not as much I've seen, but... yeah a little bit of soap yes yeah Soap is such a good show. Anybody good, out there who yeah. doesn't know it, it doesn't. It actually doesn't end, and the fourth season isn't really worth watching. But watch the first three seasons; it's hysterical. It's a great show. Billy Crystal. Benson is a but the Butler, another Butler show. Yeah, mm -hmm. ABC and, was high on Butlers back then. And uh, I think it, his, it might have been his first acting appearance. But a young Jerry Seinfeld made a few appearances on the show. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's unfortunate, but what was his role? Like, who, who I don't know. He? I never, I didn't watch it. Okay. I didn't really watch Benson, but uh, okay. I just think, as an offshoot of soap, I thought that'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. So those are pre TGIF. So we already covered full house. You know, we all, we all like that one. We all yeah. like family matters. Two out of three ain't bad for perfect strangers. <laughs> um, step by step. We all like that one. Yes. Probably, probably best overall good looking cast too. I'd say. Yeah. 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 That'll, yeah. Boy Meets World, we're all fans. Mm -hmm. yes. Dinosaurs, mm -hmm. we're all fans. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Just the 10 of us, Duff has no awareness of. Yeah, no, yeah. no clue. But it was I only like... on for like two seasons anyway, I think. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. It's classic. So here we go. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh, yes. Good one. And definitely like yes, that show. Yes. I yeah. don't remember yes. much about it other than thinking that Mark Curry, who played Mr. Cooper, was like eight foot three. <laughs> yeah he did look i remember tall. yeah very tall um <laughs> you know quick little thing about that is uh usually i'm a big fantasy football guy so is scales and i usually try to connect a player on my team and try to be funny with my team name and make some sort of a connection so i have a uh, a wide receiver on the dallas cowboys of the name amari cooper so i decided to take his name and make a little 
play on Hanging with Mr. Cooper. So that is my actual team name. So I like it. There's my uh, connection there. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah. In the finals this week, I actually just beat Mr. Mr. Well, eh, let's not talk about it. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Scales, were you a fan of Hanging with Mr. Cooper? I was. Cooper? I was a big fan of Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Um, that was that was a that was a TJF mainstay for a few years. It, it was on for a while. I think it yeah. Yeah, yeah. was on for a while. I remember it watching it. Bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah big fan did he play like a did he play like a basketball coach or something? I can't remember yeah. exactly what he was. He was like a he was a teacher and he was a teacher, uh, might have been like a former former, pl- former player. player, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well being eight foot three, you know. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Yeah. <laughs> it helps when you when you shoot down. It's like beer pong. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, that's all. Uh <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot this was TGIF. Sister, sister. Ooh. Oh, wow. Didn't know that was TGIF. I didn't know that that started with, there. With Miss Jack K. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. And, she was and Tim Reed. Yeah, and Tim or whatever. And Tim Reed of It fame. Tim Reed. Yeah. He's the father on the show. He's in It. Oh, uh, the original who is he in It? Tim yes. Curry. He's Mike. Oh. Interesting. He's, he's the black guy in the show. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. um, I didn't know that. Yeah. And then, yeah, Tia and Sister, Tamara. Sister. And one, one of them is still on TV. She's on a talk show. Well, didn't, they, didn't they have like a younger brother that was on there too? But didn't he have like a little bit of a crossover to Full House? I don't, I, I could be wrong with some of that. I know that there were some kids that changed. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I could I be remember. wrong. Oh, I know who you're I know there were some about. crossovers. No, I'm not sure. I don't know if that was their younger brother or not, but whatever. Next on the list, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Ah, so I remember it. I, th- yeah. I think I could, I think I could speak for all of us. We didn't really watch it. Definitely not on TGIF. That's another one, like probably on in reruns. Like if it, I feel mm-hmm. like it was on around dinner time, I, I'm sure I watched an episode or two. Um, remembering yeah. Melissa Joan Hart as Clarissa mainly. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. It was it was okay, but not really. It was okay. We, we weren't really the target demographic for the show. No, we, you know, yeah. never got into that one. But, yeah, I just yeah. remember a talking black cat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Here's one. <laughs> Scales, did you watch Clueless? <laughs> I mean, I probably I not wasn't movie, a fan of it, but I mean, I like. I definitely like the movie. Yeah, the movie was good, yeah. so I'm sure mm-hmm. I probably gave the show a try, but I don't yeah. really doesn't stick in my memory. I I don't remember yeah, the show. I, I don't. I have no awareness of that as a TGIF show. Uh, apparently, it was part know of that. the run. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So here we go. Here are four totally random ones that I remember, but I don't know if you guys do. We have Billy. Anyone from <laughs> Billy? What the Billy? hell is Billy? What kind of show is that? Billy was. So I remember watching a few episodes when I was younger. I only remember one in particular, but the premise, which I don't remember, I just had to look up was that a Scottish, it was another spinoff, I think from Head of the Class. Oh, wow. A Scottish- Head of the Class. The school that he teaches at closes down and in order to stay a step ahead of immigration, he marries some, I don't know if it was a student or another teacher at the school to be able to, it's like a sham marriage to keep him in the country. Um, <laughs> starring Billy Connolly, who is a comedian. And it's funny, like this is one of those shows that I thought I might've invented in my head. And then I, <laughs> Sounds I, like the, it. I saw the aristocrats and there was a you know Scottish stand-up comedian that is like, I feel like that guy was in a show that I used to watch. And I looked it up, you know, cause it was thankfully IMDB was invented by then. It's like, okay, maybe I didn't invent this thing. Um, <laughs> also starring a young Johnny Galecki. Oh, um, nice. Oh, nice. And another one of those fever dream type episodes. He catches Johnny Galecki smoking and then makes him smoke a cigar to like to make him quit but oh. the part i didn't understand as a kid and i still don't really understand now is the house gets so full of smoke they get like a nicotine poisoning and the ambulance has to come and like yeah emts have to come revive them with oxygen it's it's fairly absurd I'm smoking a cigar they both, they both <sighs> smoke cigars and the house how big was it like this big <laughs> Yeah, here, how, what was it like? Skills? <laughs> yeah, do that one more time. <laughs> no, that was one time only. Sorry. <laughs> um, next on the list, we have going places. Now, that sounds familiar. Yeah, I, heard. I I feel like I watched the episodes. The, my only any notable people in there? Alan Ruck, who was Cameron and right. Paris Bueller's Day Off. Heather Locklear. Oh. Had no Heather Locklear. Yeah. Really. Huh. Stacy Keenan, who was in Step by Step, she was Dana. 
Jerry Levine, who was Styles in Teen Wolf. My only takeaway from the show as a kid was I recognized this one actor who was in a bunch of stuff. He was one of the Mighty Ducks, uh, J.D. Daniels. He was on an episode of Full House. I remember nothing about this show. I just remember watching it a few times. I remember the intro that there was a car traveling. It was like kind of a What was the premise? Do you know? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> I don't remember at all. It didn't, it didn't last that long. Yeah. yeah. Next up, Baby Talk. Baby Talk. Baby a... Talk was like a TV port of Look Who's Talking. It was... Oh, man. I remember Look Who's Talking. Yeah, of course. Yeah. This Who was, was in this? Tony Danza was the voice of the baby. The show was only two seasons. The show was only two seasons, and they changed the main character, Mother, from season one to season two, <laughs> to people who didn't even okay. um, And they brought on Scott Bayo in season two. Oh, Scott Bayo. Yeah. yeah. Who's For the rest the of our days. Sitcom master, Charles wow. in Charge. Fun fact, Scott Bayo went to my high school. Obviously not oh, really? I went. Yeah, we graduated from the same, grew up in the same neighborhood. I think my mom knew him. I know she definitely knew one of his siblings. Like they used to hang out together. Interesting. And another Never fun knew fact, that. at my cousin's wedding, some, a colorful guy there walked past me and he's like, I think I know you. Yeah, like trying to piece together who I am. He thought I was Scott Bale. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you can't yeah, see it because of the beard, but with a cleanly it's... shaven face, I guess maybe there's some resemblance I've seen yeah. a few times, but I was like, Definitely not enough to be mistaken for. No, Scott. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hide your beard right now. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. maybe a not distant real. relative. Yeah, exactly. Very distant. Just kind of like me and Patrick Duffy. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You guys look spitting image. Absolutely. And last one on the list: Camp Wilder. Anyone? Oh, Camp Candy. I don't ever heard of Camp, Camp Wilder. Was great. <laughs> uh, no, no Camp ever... Wilder. No. The only thing I remember about Camp Wilder was that there was a guy named Dorfman and I recognize him. It is Jay Moore played him and oh. Oh. I didn't like the character on the show. So I grew up just thinking that Jay Moore was an asshole. And anytime I saw him, I think I was like, oh, why would they cast this guy? He sucks. He's an asshole. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't say as a kid, but it's like it was, I had an immediate re- reaction to him. Did you call him more of a poopy head? head? Yeah, he's a doo doo face. <laughs> and the one thing I remember about him was like, do you remember on TGIF they would have kind of like a guest host or like yeah. the one who would do like, you know, I do like, remember, yeah. Like the, you know, the, the promos in between. Yep. He mm-hmm. was doing the Halloween one and he told a joke. He's like, how do you know Dracula had a cold? Because you hear his coffin. His coffin. Oh. And he said his coffin line <laughs> twice. And even then I was like, <laughs> Jay Moore. Yeah. Ugh. So if you haven't heard of those four shows, there's probably a very good reason why they didn't really yeah. last that long. <laughs> but, so what are we going to do, Scales? So I wanted us to put together um, our own. So we each can put together our own individual list, but I want the Technodrome to have our supreme TGIF <laughs> fantasy list. Like, what would be our TGIF lineup as the Technodrome if we lived in a, you know, some alternate universe where we were the producers of ABC and we could put together uh, this four show lineup? Um, that would be the best one ever. So, I, I guess we can kind of throw it around and do our what our individual four show lineup is, and then we'll we'll, we'll take the you know, whatever that consensus is, and that would be our our joint one. So, yeah. um, Duffy, we'll start with you. What would be your top four shows to put together as TGIF if you had to pick from all of them. Um, all right. Uh, picking all four here. Got to lead off with Full House. Um, stable for me. Um, rounding up after that, number two, I'm actually going to go with Boy Meets World. Um, just really, really held on for me and, you know, just kind of, was, you know, just a show that I just really stuck with. Um, number three, Family Matters is going to definitely be there. Um, maybe not as high as you guys, which I know you guys really appreciate that show a lot more. Um, I loved it. It was just, you know, that's I kind of see it in that number three slot. Um, and rounding out my top four, I'm going to actually go probably step by step. That'll be number four for me. Um, you know, again, I got I to gotta have my relative in there, at least in my top four, if I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> um, I appreciate yeah, that. Might, might be an awkward Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner otherwise. Yeah. 
it would be, especially via Zoom with, uh, you know, COVID. But. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Cast? So I would go full house. Family matters. This is in no particular order. Yeah. yeah. Full house. So that means that you like full house better. I get it. Because he said it first. First is the worst. <laughs> second is the best. <laughs> What's uh, third? So full, full House, Family Matters, Perfect Strangers, Dinosaurs. Oh, nice. And, uh, dinosaurs, dinosaurs it adds a little bit of contrast because you have three, you know, three sitcoms and then you have this sort of oddball to round out the lineup. Okay. All right. Uh, for me, I'm going to go... Full House and Family Matters to start. I think well, that's a consensus probably with anyone that you ask. Uh, so those will be my first two. And then I'll go with Perfect Strangers uh, just because I I was a big fan of that show. You know, it's modern day odd couple type show, you know, one wacky guy doing all this crazy stuff and the straight man to keep everything in line, uh, like Steve was saying earlier. Um, and then my last one would be Boy Meets World. Uh, this, like I said before, that one kind of, we were old enough to, you know, the early years of Full House and Family Matters, we were really kind of young, but I think Boy Meets World came at a time where we were really starting to grow up, you know, becoming 9, 10, getting into adolescence. Um, and it really struck a chord with me as a kid. Yeah. So that would be my, that'd be my four. Uh, so I, I don't do quick math. So maybe we did a little average before we recorded. So I know what the top the, was. Uh, did a little right. You are the math major. Yeah, yeah. The math major, you like to uh, crunch those numbers and put in your. <laughs> so, here is the Technodrome's top four lineup, and and then we'll debate the you know what time these shows would come on. That'll be how we end our show today. Uh, so the top four TGIF shows for the Technodrome would be Full House, Family top Matters, right. Boy Meets World, and Perfect Strangers. Oh, that's our four. Making the cut. Making the cut. So now, it's a solid two hours of television, right? Yeah, there. I mean, I mean, I don't think anyone can argue <laughs> that that this would be highly entertaining. Well, someone can. And, and enjoy- <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody can. Nobody's allowed. It's a solid hour and a half of television, right there. That's exactly what oh, you're doing, right? Come on. Yeah, as soon as as soon as Full House is over, you know, then you get into that. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> so where where would we? So it's eight eight o'clock. What are we starting off our TGIF block with? What do you guys think is a good starting point to get everyone amped up for this night? <coughs> so, sorry. Bless you. I I think that dinosaurs are wrong. Be first or last. <laughs> dinosaurs are not even in the in the top list. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. So (laughs) I say either full house or boy meets world should lead off. I, I don't know about you, Duff. I think it's full house. Full house. I agree. Yeah. Got to start off with a heavy hitter right there. You start off with the heavy hitter. You get everyone on their couch. Everyone wants to watch full house. So you get them down for one show, they're staying for all two hours, baby. Just pull them in with Danny Tanner, you know, and it's just, uh, you'll, you'll be good. You'll be golden. Uncle Jesse. I like it. Right. I like it. So so full house, 8 o'clock to 8.30. All right. Yeah. Eight, 8.30 is rolling around. What do we got in store for our viewers? I'm think? going I'm going potty real quick, you know, usually oh. after that. Okay. But uh, after that, hurry. I get back. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I get back, 8.30 rolls around. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I might want a little something different from what we were doing there with, uh, with full house, you know, you know, the lessons, the life lessons. Um, I might throw a bone to you guys since it was made the cut. I'll throw perfect strangers into that slot. How do you guys feel about that? Okay. I like that. I mean, it kind of switches, switches it up a little bit from the full house theme going on there. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The other school I thought would be Full House and Family Matters are kind of two sides of the same coin. But I like the idea of, of varying it. So, yeah, I, I think that it's good to uh, pop Perfect Strangers in there second. So I'm down with that. See, I'm a reasonable guy, you know? Yeah. yeah. You don't hate it so much after all. Mm. All right. So we got we got Cousin Balky and Cousin Larry. And at 830, 
Uh, so we got our first hour done. Now, now maybe you're you're finishing your, your pizza, or maybe you're having a little I bowl of so. ice cream. What about popcorn? Maybe a little popcorn. Who knows? It could be anything you like. But it's nine o'clock, and now it's time for the second hour of our block. What are you starting the second hour of the block with? Cass, I'll go to you. Hmm. Uh, I think Boy Meets World. Okay. What makes you say, or do you have a reasoning, or just because? Because then you could kind of have where you have uh, Full House and Family Matters bookending. I like that. Yeah, the whole. Order. I I'm in agreement with that. Yeah, I have the big uh, the big guys at the end holding everything up. Yeah, that nice visual with my hands. You know. So we got so we got Mr. Feeney coming on your TVs mm-hmm. at nine o'clock. Oh well, yeah. Now it only leaves one. Obviously, nine thirty. Urkel, Urkel's coming to town at nine thirty. So there we have it. Yeah. Are you guys happy with this? I'm yeah. with that. Okay. Now we, so we got uh, our food. Sorry, go ahead. If you guys remember, uh, was this Friday night that it used to play this? I don't know if you guys remember this. I might be kind of, you know, bringing this out, or it might have been like during the week, but watching TV up to a certain point, it would end like regular TV before it would go to like the news at 10, and it would pop up with that thing. It's 9.59. Do you know where your children are? Do you remember that? <laughs> I think it's, yes, I do. it's, it's 10 o'clock. It do you know where your o'clock. children are? Yeah, was it? Yeah, was it like? Do, was that after TGIF or was that on other that days? Every night. I don't know. I think that was every night. Uh, that was that was like a distinct thing that I remember. It would come on, and I'm like, oh, now I got to go to bed. <laughs> and that was time for 2020, and no kids yes. wanted to watch that. You'd hear the, you'd hear the, the, the clock ticking, and it's like, oh. <laughs> Barbara Walters. She's not funny. She doesn't fit. <laughs> so what did we have? Only um, one honorable mention. Here, yeah. So the, the way had, the rankings, two, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. The way the rankings shook out, um, if if there was a fifth or a sixth show, or if we needed a fill in for a week, um, Step by Step and Dinosaurs were, were right behind those. They were tied. Those two were tied together, and they were right behind um, the last. Uh, I forget which one was ranked fourth. Uh, Perfect Strangers, probably. So they were right behind Perfect Strangers. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, I think that. Those are our top six, if you wanted to say it. You know, dinosaurs and step by step are also in that list. So, yeah, I think those yeah. are, you know, six all time great shows on ABC and regardless of of, of network. Those are six great all time uh, sitcoms and television shows that yeah. we all have fond memories of. And it, admittedly, step by step is a much better <clears throat> fit for that lineup than dinosaurs. Dinosaurs was kind of the dark horse of that yeah. TGIF group, but really. Yeah. Even though they did shows that were different um, over time, like dinosaurs wasn't really like anything else. Right? Is it, is it from memory? I mean, and for looking at my list, it's the only one that was not real people. You know, it was animatronics. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they had any cartoons. I don't think they had anything else similar to that. Right. So it was, it was kind of a gamble, and it was, it was successful, but it's still how many? Like, did we say how many seasons dinosaurs lasted? Do we know. Was it? Wasn't that many? I was maybe like three or four, two, two or two? three, yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. It wasn't a lot, like a handful. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. Depends on what your definition of a handful is. Yeah, I want to go back and watch dinosaurs. Not after all, just talk about it and see if I pick up on things I didn't as a kid. Yeah, I'm sure. You um, so, so I guess we could say then our honorable mention. So would be probably step by step, right? Step by step. Yeah, we gotta get Duffy's. Uh, gotta get my uncle in there. there. You get those royalties. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that classic salt and pepper here that he had. <laughs> All right, guys. Any uh, any closing comments? Anything you want to leave the viewers with on this TGIF episode? Uh, I wish it was Friday, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be, uh, um, be a lot nicer. This is Friday. Uh, just, uh, yeah, this was... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Cass, what are you saying? I said, this is Friday for me. I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, me too. True. Yeah. I'm not. I just remember an episode of Step by Step where they, it was this crazy thing. They were like wearing this Velcro suit and jumping off a springboard and then like doing some kind of a flip and then like smashing up against the wall. 
That's like one of the few step by step episodes I remember. I vaguely remember that one. I my, remember uh, one my where... memories. My memories of step by step are that and a lot of jokes about Suzanne Summers trying to get Frank to shower with her or something like. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's like yeah. that's like what I think of when I think of step by step. There was there was one episode where they went away for their anniversary and he mm-hmm. he's pushing he tries pushing the beds together and he like he injures his back. That's how like she started. had this whole like romantic evening planned and he's like uh-huh. stuck that way and apparently he had like real life back problems and they worked that into the storyline that's a that's a common thing that happens in the duffy family so yeah back problems <laughs> that's, oh, there you that's go. the episode that's the episode <laughs> where you know he had to take a week off and they filled in louis anderson instead <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> he's bound to get into tgif somehow <laughs> All right, we can end on we can't end on a better note than that. So <laughs> I want to thank everyone for for tuning Cody, in. Cody, get week. your van out of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our episode, um, taking a look back on memories of, of TGIF on ABC from back in the eighties and nineties, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Later.